Thank you for staying. Last of the day, Riverside, yeah. I'm the founder and passionate. I am serious, but also like to have fun. You guys have all been very much patient in hearing what all's going on, and you can see I'm a passionate CEO. Part of that passion comes from really, we have a team that's been successful in Mexico. Everyone has a team, but who comes up with a team that's actually been able to exist for 11 years and only put out 44 million shares? We've been able to do that and get through 45 projects, and with those, we've been able to come up with resource projects that we've sequentially been able to farm out. So we've been able to create value and put that back into us as other opportunities. So we've built a portfolio of royalty assets. The other thing is, right now, the opportunity in 2018 are the catalysts. This year, like each year, we put out what we're looking forward to doing. What we're looking forward to do is to create the opportunities for exit strategy. That is, drill results from partners. That is the new acquisitions last year and in 2015. As we heard about all those deep and dark times, Riverside always has found ourselves with cash. We went eight years without raising money. The way we did that was using OPM. We love that, other people's money. On the left is a drill rig funded by the work with Antofagasta. On the right is the partnership that we do with Centera Gold. We have ongoingly had the majors fully funding what we're doing, so we've been able to generate 10 projects. We've been able to go through 44 projects and keep only the best ones. So for you as a shareholder, you're exposed to multiple opportunities at the same time. We have cash in the bank. We always have cash in the bank. We don't do financings. We're not looking for financings. The way we generate is from our ability to build up property partnerships. Our equity positions in other companies, as we spin out ventures, we keep those shares. Therefore, we don't go back to you. We don't want to go back to your pocketbook. We don't want to have you to have to put it in. You can buy in the market and be part of getting ounces in the ground. We heard from Greg here talking about what the future may look like. I myself 10 years ago said if I could develop and own ounces in the ground in multiple different places, it would be a great place to have a hedge on the future, own those resources for myself and our children, and particularly ones that can build leverage off of knowledge. Knowledge from our 75,000 location database. What were each of you doing 30 years ago? 30 years ago, I started building a database. I worked for the US government. Who here has worked with the government? Why did you all leave? Because it was inefficient. I left that and took the knowledge, and we can put that knowledge in how do we make discovery. The way we make discovery is through getting drilling and partnerships. That has actually led to us having royalty positions in 10 different projects. We're delivering discovery and building the value. Share structure is so important, 44 million shares. No large overhang are the warrants that we have are at 85 cents. We're currently trading at 30. So we're in a good position that way and having a cash position. Unfortunately, we're trading at that 52-week low or down there at 30 cents. I'm really excited to come to you and be able to say, look, it's a buying opportunity. Myself, I've been buying more shares and continue to. That's a good situation. This chart here, this little diagram here, is the retail investor. It's you. I really appreciate it. We have a standout here. It's been an honor to have people come up, people that live in Bowen Island, people that have come from California, people that have actually come from Maryland, people that have come from uh, France, even from Finland, and we appreciate that. We've also developed a 44% holding of European shareholders, and they've bought in the market. They've purchased in the market. They've seen the opportunity. They appreciate that prospect generation is a way that you can be successful with multiple projects. And in this case, we've spun them out into ownership in other companies. The ownership in a million ounce gold project at Sugarloaf Peak. In 2008, the market was crashing. Things weren't going on. I was able to write a check and we were able to acquire the Sugarloaf Peak asset. Then as the market came back, we were able to get it to drill and now it's called Croesus Gold. That's the value proposition with Riverside is getting into good assets if the times are tough. And for right now, we've gone through some tough times. Right now, the value proposition is we are trading at a low and we have drill programs going. We have majors fully funding them. We've been able to leverage ourselves life of the company. Two and a half dollars for 
for partner money for every dollar we have spent. That's amazing, and that's a track record that you can believe in. You can see it's happened for a decade. That's allowed us to focus on the highest quality, the best places. This last week, there was over half a billion dollar in mining transactions in Mexico. That's right, people are going to Mexico. They may not wear big sombreros, but they're bringing big checkbooks. Half a billion dollars was transacted with First Majestic Mining, buying out Primero, with Argonaut, buying out assets in Guanajuato, and that's just last week. It is the best place to be in terms of consistently big transactions happening in Mexico. What we have is a large hill in um, northwest Mexico called Cecilia and another major project of the uh, Pinolas project. The thing we really like about Cecilia is previous drilling hit gold mineralization. The thing we like is big land position. And last year, at the end of the year, we were able to participate in a bid a bid with the Mexican government, and it's interesting, it's kind of like the lottery where you buy lottery tickets. We buy tickets to participate when the government releases property, and we acquired six times larger the land around our lead asset. We had to beat two other companies, Grupo Mexico and Fresnillo. Combined value would be about $50 billion, and here we are Riverside at 15 million. It wasn't a head-to-head -head bidding, it was buying these tickets. We bought a few tickets, we know what we want. As I said, we have the 75,000 location database. 30 years knowledge, bringing that together to pick the top 75. We've done the research for you. We know this industry. I don't ask you to what do all you do. You have your experiences. You can count us to know Mexico. You can count us to know how to do things. And we've delivered drill opportunities that the majors ongoingly fund. In this case, the Cecilia project has high grades, a really great asset. The other is the Pinolas project. That's me, underground in underground workings. This in Durango, Mexico. The company Minero Pinolas now valued over $20 billion. These are the high-grade mines that they used to own, and Riverside now owns. We have paid attention. When the markets were going down, we were acquiring. We were positioning for this time. When no one else had capital, we were there. I was in the trenches. We were there building these trenches across key assets in Mexico. These assets are the ability right next to existing operations. These trenches I put up on YouTube, these different videos I've been doing, you can see all the different actions of Riverside in the field. Recently we have our drone, and quickly we'll be flying that drone out to sites. We have XRF guns that can get the assays right in the field. This drone I picture I took last week at our drill contractor. So we buy the equipment, we run it, in many cases, Sentara paid for all this. You have partners paying for us, the money comes. The partnerships with majors, and junior companies give you the leverage to have gold and silver in Mexico using a database. It's all about team, teamwork, and you shareholders are teamwork too. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for being there. And consistently, we're here. Next, tomorrow we'll be at the Cambridge House, then we'll be at the Roundup. We'll have Korshak, we'll have maps. We go the whole outlet. But the most important is the shareholders. Without shareholders, Myself, with all of us as shareholders, we really won't be successful. So it's that partnership. It's shaking hands with shareholders. And with that, we do the work. We make the discoveries. Riverside, in 2018, three key milestones. Drill results, partnerships we're drilling right now, Sentara, Silver Viper, multiple projects going expose you to many different times to the upside. And luckily, not the downside because we don't have to go back to the treasury. We have cash. We've consistently been able to manage our cash. So we expose ourselves to the upside. That's right, that upside hit. That's what's really fun. Having key projects, high-grade silver like the Pinolas, 700 gram silver, major mine companies working around you, Fresnillo, having operations like Exelon, new developments like Mag Silver, and yet we have those grades 100% Riverside with a $15 million valuation, $3.5 million cash, no financings, no private placements. We got the money, and we got these quality assets. 
the strategic partnerships and strategic work that Riverside's been able to do really puts us up in the right position for new acquisitions. I hope you'll come out and visit our booth more and be a shareholder. And I'm really passionate about the opportunity to be here today and the questions that'll come afterward. Thank you.